Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about comparison of bias sensor techniques. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. Bias sensor is an analytical device containing an immobilized biological material which can specifically interact with the analyte to produce a signal that can be measured. So that is the definition of the bias sensor. So it's an analytical device with an immobilized biological material. The biological material can be enzyme, antibody or hormone. So there are certain uh, features uh, to look for a bias sensor to use in a uh, point of care application settings. So the desired features of the bias sensor are uh, the following. It should be affordable and it should be very sensitive. The test should be very sensitive, the meaning that it should give a few false negative results. And the test should be very specific, it should be user friendly and with the first uh, visit itself, the doctor should be able to give a treatment without a need for further uh, investigation. So the uh, results should be accurate and uh, to the point where doctor can make a decision on the treatment. and the device should be equipment free uh, that meaning meaning that it should run without the power so it should be uh, with a battery support and it can be uh, used in the remote field settings or with the minimal uh, resource limited settings so these are the uh, desired features of a bias sensor bias sensor has two major components one is the bioreceptor and the other is the transducer a bias sensor can be uh, classified into uh, different uh, uh, classes uh, based on the uh, method of detection. So there are certain examples include optical bias sensor, electrochemical bias sensor, piezoelectric bias sensor and magnetic bias sensor. In this topic we will be uh, discussing about the advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, uh, these various uh, bias sensors. So I have already done a video on bias sensor uh, and the different types of bias sensor uh, uh, which explains in detail about all these topics. So uh, I will share the uh, link in the description below. Uh, you can check that out. So in this topic we will be discussing only about the advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, these bias sensors. So let's uh, see the advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, optical bias sensors. So the optical bias sensors can be further classified uh, based on the detection method. So one is the uh, fluorescence based detection, second is the uh, SPR based uh, detection and third is the uh, chemiluminescence. The advantages of uh, fluorescence based uh, detection is that uh, it is very uh, sensitive and it, ha it has very good stability and uh, real time detection is possible. And uh, some of the disadvantages are, uh, this includes co complicated steps and uh, uh, the test is time consuming and uh, requires costly equipment. The costly equipment uh, meaning that uh, optics is required for this uh, fluorescence uh, signal capture so that equipment cost is huge. Coming to SPR, uh, these are a very high uh, sensitive and uh, these are non-invasive, label free and uh, real time detection is also possible. But the disadvantage is that uh, it is soft, uh, it requires a sophisticated uh, optical instrumentation and highly trained uh, personnel for uh, performing the test. For chemiluminescence, uh, the detection limit is low. Uh, that means it can detect uh, very low uh, load samples and it has a wide dynamic range and uh, the cost is also low. But the problem is that uh, the procedure is complex and it requires a labeling of the uh, some of the reagents and uh, this can be affected by uh, uh, environmental factors. So these are the disadvantages of uh, chemiluminescence based detection. Coming to electrochemical uh, based sensing, uh, so there are different types of uh, electrochemical uh, sensing methods. Uh, one is the amperometric uh, sensor and uh, potentiometric sensor and uh, impedimetric based sensing. Amperometric uh, sensing is very simple and it is straightforward and uh, it can be easily integrated. But the problem is uh, because of the low sensitivity and poor stability. The potentiometric uh, uh, bias sensors are highly specific and are uh, label free. But uh, again the issue is with the sensitivity and the process is complicated. 
Impedimetric uh, biosensors are uh, label free, uh, low cost and easy to perform but uh, they lack the specificity. Let's see the uh, piezoelectric uh, uh, based biosensing. Uh, these are ultra high sensitive and all are uh, label free but uh, the uh, disadvantage is uh, that the poor repeatability and the poor stability. Magnetic biosensors are uh, having a low detection limit and are very high sensitive. But uh, this disadvantage is it requires labeling and also it is uh, very hard to integrate into a platform. Hope you are clear with this uh, comparison video. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.